Okay, moving into our final setup of the series. It's uh, my personal favorite. I had a lot of success at the college level with this one. Uh, and once you get it down, it's pretty hard to stop. So uh, Dave, again, do me the honors. So this one, it's very, very important that I get the weight on his hands because it's a little tricky here. I, instead of throwing in this left leg, I'm actually gonna throw my leg on the opposite side, my right leg in. So I really like to trick the guy that I'm gonna go and throw it in on this left side. But realistically, Dave, <laughs> Dave's not gonna know that I'm gonna throw it in on this right side. So how I wanna set up here is very important. Can you turn to the uh, left here, Dave? So instead, of um, starting high here, I kind of want to start my referee's position pretty low on his back because I'm going to be picking this left ankle. So off the whistle, again, a lot of these attacks are going to come off the whistle because I feel like that's going to be the best opportunity for me to throw my leg in. So um, off the whistle here, um, you're allowed to line up pretty low. So as much as the referee is going to give me and as much as I'm going to be able to take. So um, I kind of want to line up with my shoulder in the middle of his back here so I can pick this ankle right off the whistle. So I'm gonna line up a little low here in my referee's position, and as soon as the whistle blows, my left hand's gonna to come to this ankle. So as soon as my left hand comes to this ankle, I wanna put all the pressure on Dave's hands. So as soon as that whistle blows, I wanna kinda of wrench this ankle forward. So as soon as this pressure goes forward and his weight's on his hands, instead of this leg coming in, I'm gonna throw my right leg. So I'll do that near ankle drive one more time and then I'll show you how I throw that leg in. So as soon as the whistle blows, I want to line up low here. And as soon as that blows, here my left hand comes to this ankle and I drive forward, put the weight on Dave's hands. And this right leg comes in. So I'll show you from actually this angle so you can see the leg. This way. Yeah, that's perfect, that's fine. Because you can see the leg coming in. So whistle blows, rear ankle drive, this leg comes in here, and I'm in my cross body ride here. One of my favorite rides, I'll get into it in the next section. So, we'll show it one more time from this side. So as soon as the whistle blows, I, like I said, I wanna line up low here. It's very important that I line up low here because if I'm not low, I'm gonna be over overreaching to grab this ankle and it's gonna be harder to put the pressure on these hands. I'm not gonna get a left forward motion. So I want to line up as low as I, low as possible. I kind of like to shoot for the middle of the back here. Uh, so off the whistle, I'm picking this ankle. That's the left side ankle. You can do it from the right side if you're more comfortable on the right side. Uh, it really doesn't matter. It just depends on what kind of leg ride you are. Personally, I can ride both sides, but I like to throw in this right leg. So I'm picking off the, uh, picking this ankle off the whistle and creating space right here, just like we said before, that spiral, our spiral ride. So as soon as the whistle blows, I'm driving this ankle forward, putting the weight on David's hands, and throw, almost swinging this leg over and throwing it in on this right side. Here. So do one more time. So off the whistle, I want to line up low, picking this ankle, swinging this leg over, and my cross body ride here. Like I said before, this is a very, very successful move if you can get it down right. Um, I think the most important part is, is being able to start in that position. And um, it's, it's just one of my favorite positions. And I think once you get that near ankle drive down, it's almost a feel once you throw that leg in. So um, that's gonna be it for the, the uh, near ankle ride position.